Hello, coolers. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca, where we are going to be discussing the latest as usual. Starting with Osman Dembele, as it has been reported that manager Xavi Hernandez believe the star winger will accept Barcelona's renewal offer before the end of the season. We are going to be discussing much on that report as we progress then secondly talking about this issue of cvc deal of course it has been reported that barcelona are set to close 270 million euro sponsorship deal agreement with the cvc despite real madrid president Florentino perez interfering in it we are going to be discussing much on the report as well so guys as we get right into it endeavor to subscribe to this channel if you haven't if you're a lover of fc barcelona Give this video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. The manner in which Usman Dembele has turned around his situation at Barcelona is simply sensational. The Frenchman was the club's biggest villain in the winter transfer market and found himself at the receiving end of loud whistles, boos whenever he stepped onto the pitch for Barcelona. Less than a month later, he is one of the site's most vital components and has successfully converted the jazz to chairs. According to a report from Dario AS, Xavi Hernandez has not given up hope on the winger's renewal. The manager believed that Dembele will accept the proposal put forth by the club after the recent changes around him. For starters, the 24-year-old suddenly finds himself to be one of Barcelona's most important players. In his last eight games, he has provided seven assists and also scored on one occasion. His sudden boost means Adama Traore has been replaced in the starting lineup for crucial games such as El Clasico, we saw that. The second factor in favour of Dembele's continuity is the arrival of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. The Gabonese striker has been one of the Frenchman's best friends since their Borussia Dortmund days. Not only does this make Dembele more comfortable in the dressing room, but also on the field. Dembele and Obama Young have struck a leather partnership in the final third for Xavi's side in recent games. Their chemistry helped Barca open the scoring during the Real Madrid clash as well, with Dembele finding Obama Young with a cross down the right. Usman Dembele will be a free agent in June and is free to negotiate terms with foreign clubs, Paris Saint Germain, Manchester United, Chelsea and Newcastle United are said to be interested in his signature, yet the doors for renewal are not completely closed. Indeed, they are not completely closed. So with Dembele's recent form, of course, his brilliant form lately, it's but normal that we start hearing reports like this. You know, his contract renewal saga has come in again. And many reports saying that Barca are open to the possibility and they are hoping, they are praying and hoping that Dembele renews. Of course, we all understand why. Dembele is very crucial to this team. Dembele is proving it. And the fact that Xavi Hernandez loves him a lot can really play a key role. Now we're getting the report of Xavi being optimistic, Xavi believing that Dembele will extend his contract. So when we look at those factors, Xavi using Dembele to his full potential and of course loving Dembele's style of play, loving him as a player. Then Aubameyang, the partnership that Aubameyang have with Dembele, they are very very good friends right during their days in um, Borussia Dortmund in Germany. That can really play a role. When you think about these two factors, it's, it's, it's enough to change things a lot. Yeah, because Dembele feels very comfortable right now. The team is moving well. Javi's style of play is pronouncing very well. The team is enjoying some good form. Dembele is in top form. All these, who knows, can impact Dembele's decision. That is what the club is hoping. That is what the club is hoping. Javi Hernandez is very optimistic about it. And with that, there's a possibility, big possibility, that Dembele can change his decision. Because there's no doubt about Dembele's commitment to Barcelona. He's very committed to the club. You know, he say he have been saying he wants to stay. You know, we've been getting a lot of reports saying that he wished to continue at Barcelona. So hopefully things take a different twist come June. But if things go the way many are expecting, you know, expecting that he leave, then Barca have a plan B. Rafinha is available. Other players are still available. Who knows? You can go for Ajax for Anthony dos Santos. It all depends, but Barca are keeping a close watch 
on what will happen in the summer with Usman Dembele. If he decides to change his mind, then Barca will be so happy to extend the contract and keep him. If not, then Barca will have to move on. No choice. Of course, select one of the possible alternatives for him and try to bring them in June. Then on to the next story of discussion. After their spending limit was reduced to a negative figure by La Liga, Barcelona are relying heavily on various new sponsorship deals to drive the club out of financial turmoil and cut back on losses. Earlier this month, Barca closed out a deal with Swedish audio streaming giant Spotify. Although the exact figures of the deal remain undisclosed, it is thought to be somewhere around 65 million euros per season mark per various sources. Spotify is expected to be the first of many companies set to embark on a sponsorship deal with Barcelona next season. And according to recent reports, Barca are set to close out another sponsorship, this time around with CVC Capital. The British private equity giants had caused quite the controversy last year regarding a multi-billion dollar investment deal with La Liga. Barcelona, Real Madrid and Athletic Club Bibajo were in unison in rejecting that deal, citing concerns over how it could cause irreparable damage to the Spanish footballing sector. However, it appears Barcelona's stance on the issue has changed significantly, with a news outlet suggesting that the two parties have reached an agreement over the new sponsorship deal. The final details are currently being studied. The report also states that Florentino Perez had tried to intervene or wanted to interfere with the CVC deal and had presented another investment fund as an alternative, but it was ruled out by Barcelona. The report continues to say that, you know, um, it fails to mention the exact figure, but earlier reports from this month had suggested a total potential financial boost of around 270 million euros. Part of the deal could include Barcelona giving 8.2% of their audiovisual rights to CVC in a deal worth around 16 million euros a year for 50 years. So I think it's now clear that Barca are not in the same page, they're not in the same picture again with um, Real Madrid and Athletic Club because we quite remember last year when this CVC idea was brought um, by the La Liga president Javier Tebas, Barca quickly rejected it alongside Florentino Perez, Real Madrid and Bibajo. But Laporta now is going for it. Why is it so? Of course, financially wise, they think that it will help the club a lot in many of our operations. Barca are really, really struggling financially. Of course, since Jose Maria Batemeo destroyed his clubs and his finances. But um, Laporta is really struggling. I can see how Laporta is trying his best to make sure that things go on well, economize, so that the future will be bright because if things are still being mis mismanaged it's going to be very very dangerous so for the club persisting on that series deal that tells you a lot how desperate Barca are right now when it comes to finance and quite understandably so but i'm um, looking at the economic cost in the future some years to come of course it's gonna bite it's gonna bite Barca somehow but looking at the present laporta is trying to see how he can keep the club running smoothly you know because without such injections of cash you know things are really going to be difficult so colors with that we have come to an end of this episode thanks so much for watching hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe if you haven't please make sure to subscribe so you always stay in touch with the latest on fc barcelona here on viva barca until next time bye bye barca.